Happy New Year, everyone! 2017 New Year. Did you guys have a good New Year's? Did you go out? Did you stay in? For me, I stayed in because what else is new? I am a hermit. Actually, technically, I went out because I went to my parents' place. And so my family and my sister's family and my parents, we all hung out in our pajamas and ate like appetizers and played Wii and, you know, computer games. So it was really fun. We we're playing this game called Rise of Nations. I don't know if there are any like computer game junkies out there, but like I'm obsessed with that game and I get super competitive. And I may or may not have thrown some things at my computer screen. Hello everyone! I'm here today to share with you guys a new video, the first video of 2017. So excited, this is gonna be an awesome, awesome year. If you are looking for some good New Year's resolutions, like some weird ones, some ones that are like outside of the box, check out my Rachel Loves Life video. I did a whole video on like the five weird but really, really good New Year's resolutions. So I'll put a link in the cards in case you're interested. But today's video is gonna be all around the use of gift cards. Because I don't know about you, but for me, I love a good gift card. And Sephora is one of my favorites because we all know that I spend a lot of a lot of money on Sephora. And I actually came up with this idea with my sister-in-law Caroline and Lauren and we were sitting down and we were trying to figure out some things for Caroline to buy with her gift card because she was looking for advice on what items to splurge on and which ones to save on. And I thought this would be a really fun like idea for a video to actually sit down with you guys and share with you what I would spend a $100 gift card at Sephora on. And there's a, obviously a bunch of different ways you can go about this and every person's going to be a little bit different, but I thought I would share some of my favorites and hopefully inspire you to find some new items for you to purchase if you ended up getting a gift card for Christmas. If you guys wanna see more of these, like what I would spend a $100 gift card on type of videos, whether it's like home decor-esque or it could be clothing like H&M or Zara or something or another beauty outlet like Target, let me know by giving this video a big thumbs up and letting me know in the comments below if you have any specific requests for the future videos. I hope you guys all enjoyed this video and without further ado, let's get into this. So first before I jump into the products, I want to share with you guys a couple of tips on how I would go about choosing what those products are to spend on. Tip number one is I would splurge on items that I haven't found a good dupe for at a lower price. This is obviously going to depend on the person and what you've tried and what you haven't tried so far, but that's kind of where I would start with. Tip number two is I would choose classic items that you're going to be using over and over again on a regular or everyday basis because if it's a really high quality item that you spend a lot of your own money on or gift card money on, you want to be able to, you know, use it up or as much of it up as you possibly can. Because as much as I like to say that makeup lasts forever, it doesn't. Or at least, at least it shouldn't. And tip number three, think about the things on your face that you're looking to really highlight and accentuate. Do you want a really strong brow? Are you looking for a great lip or really good solid foundation or a primer? Things like that, that's gonna help you to narrow down how you want to approach walking into the support a store or maybe just shopping online because that's what I do. And then lastly, there are two different ways that I would go into spending this gift card. Number one is to buy a bunch of little things that you can kind of test out and really maximize your budget by getting a ton of different products. And number two is to buy one or two really big ticket items that you're super stoked about and really excited about. So. With that in mind, let's dive into the products. So let's start with a bunch of smaller items. So think 15 to $30 range per product approximately. I'm working in Canadian dollars, so you could probably get a little bit more um, for your buck if you're going um, and shopping out of the States. Um, I will try and put all of the prices in the info bar below for you guys in case you're interested as well as links. Um, but the first product I wanna talk about is a brow product because for me personally, this is the one that I use on an everyday basis. And it is the Benefit Cabral product. And this is in the shade number two. It is a cream gel product and the reason I like this well There's many reasons. I like this product. I like that it fills in the brows, but it's not too strong It's not too heavy. The other reason I like it is it actually has a brush built into it So you don't have to splurge on if for example, you haven't bought any brow products before you don't have to buy a brow brush It has one that's built into it and I quite like it. It's very good This retails for $30 Canadian and I just think it's a really good product It's one that I use constantly and for me a really good splurge item the next product I would choose is a concealer. And the one that I am absolutely in love with lately is the Kat Von D Locket Concealer. This stuff is crazy amounts of pigmented. It covers everything. The coverage is insane. A little bit goes a long way and I find that it doesn't crease very easily either. So overall, this is definitely one of my picks. It retails for $34 Canadian and definitely something I would add to my cart. Next up, to kind of mix it up a little bit, I would also buy a face mask. I think these are really fun to experiment with and I think that if you have a really strong base of good skincare, 
all types of makeup is gonna look really really good um, so for me I would buy one of the little minis of the glam glow masks I love these I think they're incredible I've tried probably three or four of them now and I think they're all really great um, so this is the size of the little mini one it is $24 Canadian the one that I actually used last night is the youth mud skingle skin skingle I don't know how to speak today tingle exfoliant treatment and this one you just sort of pat on the skin and then you add some water and you kind of scrub it gently into the skin and it makes your skin feel like a baby's bum it's amazing and then gravity mud is also a good one this is the purple one it's going to firm and tone up the skin it's that silver one that makes you look like a robot you probably see them all over Instagram it's awesome but I find for me I get really excited testing out new masks so I think that'd be a really good thing to add to the gift card now if masks are not for you one product I did want to mention that you could do instead um, because they're both the same price both $24 Canadian would be to invest in a makeup tool for me I really really recommend the Shiseido eyelash curler. If you have lashes that are really, really difficult to curl or don't hold a curl really well, this thing is insane. This is the only eyelash curler I will ever use ever again. It just lifts the lashes like immediately right from the root. It is insane. It is the best eyelash curler I have ever, ever used and I highly recommend it. So if you're looking to invest in something, I would check this out. Next, I would try out a little mini of a mascara. So for me, I would choose either the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara or like the Benefit Roller Lash Mascara. The little mini ones are usually like $14 or $15 Canadian and I love playing around with mascaras. I think those are two really, really good options. If I had to choose one, I would probably choose the Too Faced one because you do get more product in there than the Roller Lash, but both are incredible. Highly recommend checking that out. And lastly is a lipstick. I know for me when I walk into Sephora, I love kind of swatching all the different lip colors and playing around with them and experimenting with the different textures and finishes and things like that. Um, the one that I love and I would recommend if you want to invest in a lipstick is the Too Faced Melted Matte. This is in the color Queen Bee, which is a really nice, cool toned, mauve gray pink. I don't know. I love this color. I think it's gorgeous. It sits really nicely on the lips. It's very, very long wearing. It looks beautiful. It applies beautifully. It's very, very pigmented. I've talked about this color before. I'm obsessed with it. You get a ton of product. It's something you can use over and over again, regardless of what season it is. And it's just a really, really beautiful lip color. Now on to the other way you could go, which is to spend on one or two splurge items. So around $50 each or one for like under a hundred bucks. For me, I'd rather buy two products for around $50. That's just me personally. So these are the items that I chose. I chose one skin product and one eyeshadow palette because I love new eyeshadow palettes. I love experimenting with them. I think they're super fun. And these are just some newer ones that I really like. So first let's talk eyeshadow palette. And this was really, really tough because there are two that I really love. One is the Urban Decay and Ultimate Naked Basics palette. I think it is beautiful. They are gorgeous, gorgeous shades, very nice and pigmented. Ones that I use on a very, very regular basis. And then the other one is a recent pick of mine that I really was excited about. And I was like, well, I might as well include this because I literally actually went out and spent this on my gift card. And it's the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Volume 2 Eyeshadow Palette. First of all, let's talk about the packaging because, oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. I'm wearing them on my eyes right now. They're beautiful, really rich, really pigmented. They blend out beautifully. Um, and they're really nice, cool tone shades. I find a lot of eyeshadow palettes are all very warm toned. I love the fact that these are cool tones, something a little bit different. And just a lot of shades that I can wear on a regular basis. I think this is beautiful. Really recommend it. It is a gorgeous palette. And then the last product that I would splurge on is the Becca Backlight Priming Filter. I've talked about this in a number of different videos. It is one of my favorite primers. I think it is beautiful. It gives a nice, very natural looking luminosity to the skin, whether you combine it with your foundation or you put it on before your foundation or just use it like dab it on as a highlight. It is beautiful, very versatile. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous product. And it makes my, my makeup just look better overall. It sits very nicely on the skin. Sometimes I, like, I'll just wear this by itself and throw on a little mascara and be done with it and just makes my skin look very like healthy like a nice glow and you can see I love it because I am down to like that much and you don't need a lot of this product so that that speaks volumes this is $46 Canadian and totally worth it in my opinion and that is everything for this video I hope you guys are all having a wonderful wonderful start to 2017 I hope you're excited for the new year as much as I am and I will see you guys all in my next video love you girls Mwah.